stay here and the two hoes will come. I stay here, two hoes will come, or they come there yet. Going down San Fernando, down they have plenty to do. All them sexy South man, German sweet. We going and join all them South oi, man oi, oi, oi. and walk on Coffee Street. So get we more, get we more, Toto. Sprangy darling. Yeah, uh, right. Oi, oi, oi. Oi. One at a time, you only feel all in that parliament. Yes, darling. You're looking nice and thick these nice. days. Yeah, but the, nice. the, well, those are there looking nice and thick. The money thin. <laughs> Sprangy. There's a big belly I have in a long time. Me ain't see this. Yes, darling. <laughs> Thank you, darling, for getting me on the show, all right? Well, it's know, long time. Uh, Ooh, uh, look uh, at uh, people. Uh, uh, and look at nice man out there. Uh, 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 stick to the script. I tell you, when you come, do what you have to do. Leave the people in the audience alone. No, darling, I just do what I have to do, then I just call. My problem is when it does go. <laughs> so, all you on the show, everything will be nice, right? Yes. Here, yeah, we bring a nice little present for you. Stick it in the, the pinky. Let me help you. Open it up. I don't open the present. Maybe. Well, it's our present. Come now. My big gift. I hope you like it. Um, bring the mic. It's look like lingerie. He like Mike. You think it go fit? You think that go fit, baby? <laughs> you like it, darling? Yeah, just that the waist a little too small, but the other parts all right. <laughs> so, thank you very much. You're welcome, darling. But I always wanted to ask this. And like all you is expert in that. So I want to know, in terms of geometry, the sexual position that has caused ugly children. Too short for you. Anyway. Give me a mic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every dog has a day. And every person has its night. <laughs> hey, DJ. Woo! Darling, give me a little. Oh, She said, pull up. What are you doing? Everybody looking nice. Yeah. Yeah, see some of the fellas, they watching this bumps, yeah? All is mine, Ooh. all 20 pounds. Well, Remy, as you see, she ain't hang on, but she keeping up. Well, you see, I take by my father's side. Everything in front. Here now. I don't understand why people keep judging hoes. Let me tell all you something. I see some all the ladies watching we. We not jammets. We are sluts. We are hoes. Hoes get paid. <laughs> That's right. So all who judging we, all the goody two shoes and the Christian and them, don't judge hoes. All right? Because we are nice people too. Mary Magdalene was a hoe. Okay? She never get to go to jail for selling heat. Oh. So why we have to get locked up all the time, eh? And look who she used to land with. Jesus Christ and his 12 disciples. All 12 of them. <laughs> Me? All I want is 12 men wrap up in clothes with no drought to drink my wine with. Hi! That's <laughs> right. You are right. They say how hoes obsessed with Toto. Woo. How we could be obsessed with Toto? Look what are they in the Pope. Benedict. Ah! Look, that me. You remember when I get locked up in Trinidad? You mean when two of we had to do the community service? Yes. And the judge asked me with ways um we, we position, what kind of work we just do? I had I went to the, the judge was like, 
What is your occupation? You, Remy. I say, Your Honor, I'm a chicken farmer. He said, a chicken farmer. I say, yes, sir. I raise at least a hundred cocks a year. Well, Tommy, when I hear she say that, I say, oh, okay. okay, I have to think of something, so I'm thinking fast. Eh? I say, um, your honors, um, I'm a carpenter. I just work with any kind of wood. Hard wood, soft wood, I could make old wood shine. I go with wood. He say enough. I've had enough of you, Miss Hennessy and Miss Red. You know what, Miss Hennessy? I've given you a choice. 60 days or $600. I say I go take the money. You know the judge locked me up? Then she's saying it's my mouth that caused that. It's mouth. That's Gary in trouble and make you get locked up all the time. So the time when you get locked up in Trinidad. It was, was I you. wasn't it. I wasn't it that night. She's the one make me get locked up in Trinidad. She tell me to go and, you know, nice work in Green Corner. They lock me up and the hard was to send me St. Benedict for community service. I go on up there. I meet Father John. He say, well, Remy, we have to go to Venezuela and take these three orphans. Okay. Orphan boys. See, Remy. Mm. Okay, who don't like children? Have to go with our priest. That's right. Go on on the plane. Flight going nice. You know? Alize call me. Oh, me say, she say, how are you going? I say, fly going nice. Next thing you know, the engine blow out. The pilot come out and he said, the engine blow out and only had three parachutes. One for me. The other two, well, I can take it. Father, tell to me, Father John say, Remy, what are you going to do with the boys? I say, screw them. He say, you think we go hard time? And then want to call me host? Eh? I remember one time. Remy wasn't with me that time. I get locked up. Now, was a policeman, eh? And I really did thief him money. Because he want to get discount. I working hard. Okay? He want to get discount telling me that he go pay me half this time. And month and when he get pay, he go give me the other half. I laying down to walk on my stick lay away too. Hmm. So anyway... I rob him, I get locked up, but he's still looking for me for your money. So I go on Toko to hide out, to keep low for a little time. That's you know, nice. it dead up in Toko. I go in by the bar, I set an ugly man with no teeth and no money. So I say, all right, Ali, Zegir, go to the village church. It must have some kind of man with some kind of money in the church. So I go on to church Sunday. I don't know why people were staying with me, because I had a dress decent. All my chest to cover up. I mean, you know me, I just wear my little short thing, but my yeah. chest to cover. Back and all in the church. The priest, he does raise chickens. And somebody thief, he prays rooster. So in the middle of the mass, Father starts. Has anybody in the congregation, do any of you have a cock? All the man in the church stand up. He said, no, 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 that's not what I meant. I meant, has anybody seen a cock? All the women in the church stand up. He said, no, no, I am, I'm sorry. I, I, what I meant is, has anybody seen a cock that does not belong to them? Half the woman and three bullet man stand up. He said, no, my children, what I mean is, has anybody seen my cock? All the aqualites stand up. <laughs> yeah, nah. That's when it's going in them church. Man, stop it! Man, stop it! Let me give all you a joke. Some years ago, when I did just get in the whoring business, I didn't have a child. I didn't even marry then. Okay, so I have a child, and I now get in the whoring business and thing, and I get locked up. First time I get locked up. So they say, yeah. all right, they're going to send me for counseling. So I go into this group session for, for hoes that have young children. So I dear the psychiatrist going wrong the room. My dear, you seem to have an obsession with food. Look what you name your daughter, Candy. 
Say, what the hell wrong with this man? He better don't come near me. He going up to the next one.